everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to insert data from this uh, new staff form into the database. So in the last lecture I have shown you how to design this form and uh, how to set these images and how to uh, design these buttons. Just let me start and show you. Uh, okay, if you have not watched my previous video, just watch my previous videos of this project that is gym management systems and uh, if you are not subscribe my youtube channel just go and subscribe my youtube channel so in the last lecture i have shown you how to design this and today i'm going to show you how to save the data from these fields into the database and how to reset well when you write something in this and when you click on reset how to clear this okay so let's start with this so uh, so now what we need is when i click on this first thing we need that these data from these text field and date time picker and uh, all the text field needs to be into variables so how to do that before this we need to generate a click event of this button so for generating a click event just double click on this and now click event is generated so here we go so before starting with that first we have to change the name of text field so so that we can easily recognize which text field is of for what so here this is the first name and let me just change this name to txt f okay sorry it's deleted actually txt f name okay so here we go and in the same way change the second text field name that is txt l name okay in the same way i am not changing the name for this radio buttons okay so I'm changing this name to actually it's a date time picker. So I'm just deleting one and I'm adding date time picker D O and B. Okay, just hit enter. And after that, mobile just go to properties and search for name and there you need to just change this to TXT mobile. Okay. And after that, in the same way, change this for email that is TXT email. And after that, you have to change this for join date. That is date time picker. Just delete the two and just change this join date and hit enter. And after that, state and this state you need to just change txt state. And after that, for this city, you just need to change this to txt city and just hit enter. And now we are ready to move to this click event of this button. So double click on this and here we with the click event. And here you need to move the data into variables. So first what we have is the first name. So for that I need to generate a string variable for let me just generate f name and it's equal to and assign the value that is txt f name that is first name and from this text box what we need is text. Okay, so txt f name is the uh, for name of this text field so from that text field what we need is text so in this way I am assigning the value from this text field into this string variable so in the same way I am going to write for the rest of the piece like L name and txt L name dot text and after that what we need to do is we have to uh, Take one value from these radio buttons. We have two radio button here. So how to do that? So for that first we need is one string variable in which we need to store the gender. So for now I'm just keeping it empty. Okay. So uh, actually we are passing a empty string here. Okay. So and now we take a boolean is checked and is equal to radio button one dot checked okay so if this radio button one is checked then it set this uh, in this boolean okay so that is true okay and we check if is checked then what we need to perform is we want to assign gender dot sorry gender is equal to radio button one dot text 
it means that when this radio button 1 is checked it will assign yes to this and it's checking that is checked is true or not if banked while we have selected the one that is made then it is checked and when it is checked this gender is assigned with the radio button one dot text and the, here you can see this the radio button one text is male and okay so in the else condition we will mention what we want to do is just set gender is equal to radio button two dot text so from the radio button two i want to set the text that is female and in the same way okay so now we are done with this gender play okay so now we are moving forward with this okay let me just show you string now what we have next is date of birth so let's just change this to dop and is equal to from the dop i have set the name date time picker dop and from that what i need is text okay and after that let me just check what is next so here we have mobile so mobile is actually integer so i am going to take it into the int type value that is int 64 and just take the variable that is mobile and is equal to txt name sorry we need to convert into uh, convert the value from text box which is in string format to an integer type so how to do that so to do that you just need to type in 64 I have already discussed this and just to parse it and in this you can just pass the value from the text feed that is this one so that's it and after that we have let me just check what we have after the mobile we have email joined it so let me just check this email and is equal to txt email dot text after that we have what we have is join date is equal to date time picker and join date dot text and after that we have string let me check i guess state and city okay so let's say state and is equal to txt state dot text and after that we need string city and it's equal to txt city dot text so before moving forward i have not created the table of for this new stuff so before making connection to the database i want to create the table okay so which query you have to execute is here now and here you can see this and previous video i have shown you how i have created this gym table and in this i have already shown you how i have created this new member and new stuff is also there because i have already executed this query so that's why it's showing in red color if you make any changes on this it will be of normal so you have to exactly write this okay so here you can see this sid is a, a unique id for each new staff okay so it is a identity one one it means it's for auto increment you don't you don't have to assign this value and not null and it's a primary key and here you can see this uh, these all are varchar types and here you can see this big end because big end uh, because integer is very small to handle with the actually 10 digit mobile number so that's why we can we are using this uh, big end if you use int then there will always be an exception generated whenever you try to insert a 10 digit value into an integer type okay so that's the other problem so you have to be sure about this so just pause the video and just write this all and execute this just this one the selected one okay and don't forget to select here your database that is i have made a database gem so here we go so now let me just create the SQL connection in previous video I have shown you how to make connection let me just copy the code from the previous video okay so my previous video is new stuff and let me just go to this save and 
see this is the code you just need to copy this and paste it here so if you have not watched my previous video then just go and watch and just you have to use this using system data.sql client just click on this and now you can see this all the errors are gone so let me just remove this line okay this is just i have some problem in the last lecture with this okay so now we have we have to just change the insert operation here so insert new member i don't want to insert this new member i ju i just want to insert into the new database let me show the name of the new database that is new star okay so new star so just put it here insert into new staff and these are the column names of the staff uh, table so okay so just replace it with this staff column name of the staff table let me just change this these are the column name of the new member table okay so now i have changed this and we also have to change this value for sure so let me just copy this and paste this okay so in the last lecture i have shown you all this so you don't have to worry about that and if you have any doubt or any comment comment in the comment section if you have any doubt regarding anything just copy this and minimize and just replace this string for sure just paste it so here you can see this now insert into new stuff and this is the column names and after that uh, we have this this is actually variable name here you can see this f name i have just written this f name here here you can see this this is in this variable i have the value from the first text field and here you can see so let me just execute it and show you how actually it's working before inserting any data let me just show you what we have in this new staff table so select star from new staff okay so just execute select this and click on execute and here you can see this we have two values share location okay so now i'm going to insert the new value into this just click on new staff and i'm going to insert like Sonu and in the next name last name that is Kumar and male he is uh, very old but let me just 90 50 and in 49 I guess and November and something like this and let me just add the mobile number for this guy for the 10 digit mobile number and let me just Sonu at the right gmail Okay, so it's a very mistake. Gmail.com and joined it will be the Twitter date. That's not an issue. So status like Bihar and city is Patna. So just click on save and here you can see this data is saved and hit OK. This all text fields are not empty. Let me just show you what now previously i have executed this query and we have seen this we have only two rows here now i'm going to execute this and here you can see this third row is here that is sonu let me just match this with the data so here you can see this sonu and uh, last name is kumar it's of mail 11 24 1949 here you can see this 1949 phone number you can match this to and the email id okay so this is working fine but what not working fine is reset button okay so when i what i wanted when i click on this reset button all text field needs to be reset as i have shown you previously so how to do that so let me just show you how to do that just to stop it before we code anything first we need is just click event of this reset button just double click on this and the reset button is generated and here we need to just write few lines of code that is txt f name we have to clear this and after that what we need to clear is txt last name dot clear and after that what we need to clear is let me just check the third box is gender so okay we have to uncheck the radio button so for that radio button one dot checked 
is equal to false. Okay. Now after that, radio button two dot checked is equal to false. This will just uncheck the radio button. After that, txt mobile dot clear. And after that, txt, let me just, just city clear. And txt like state dot clear. And what we left is with txt email, right? Email dot clear. And we have to, but what I want is when I click on this reset button, the date is changed to today date, not in the previous. Okay, so how to do that? I'm just setting the today date to this. So data time picker dot value is equal to date time now. So here you can see this in this way, you have to write this just now. And after that, you just need to do the same for the second one that is dot value okay, sorry, data the value is equal to date time dot now so one two three four five six seven eight nine and let's match this one two three four five six seven eight nine now it started and just see if it's working or not so just new stuff and write anything in this, select mail and just change the date for this. And just change, I'm just changing the dates. And just click on reset and here you can see this, now everything is working fine. So that's it for the today's video. In next video, I'm going to show you how to code with this equipment button. Let me just show you what it is in this equipment button. Just start this project and here we go with this. And in the equipment, I will show you how to design this and how to work with these buttons, save and these all. So that's it for the today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have not seen my previous video, just go and see. And please keep watching my videos so that you get updated with my new content. So thanks for watching.